Brian, Ricky Starks has apparently been completely removed from AEW TV. We don't see him on Dynamite anymore. We didn't we don't see him on Collision. We don't see him on Rampage. It seems like after he lost the tag team championship, he just completely disappeared. Now, there's a lot of talk going on online as far as to why we don't see him on TV anymore. There was a promo he had with Adam Copeland. And during that promo, he told Adam Copeland, "Look what you got on. You didn't get any swag from the other place." And Adam Copeland responded to him, well, you got all of your swag from The Rock. You're just a vanilla midget version of him. And uh, Ricky Starks came back with a very weak response saying, what did he say? Oh, that really pushed me over the edge. And he was like, oh, dude. Now, people are saying because of this interaction, Adam Copeland went backstage and told Tony Khan, listen, I don't want Ricky Starks out here no more. Get him off TV. Now, personally, I don't think that's what happened. Do you think Edge used his power to get um, Rick, I almost called him Ricky Starks. It is Ricky Starks. <laughs> Ricky Smiley. Ricky Starks. Do you think he caused Edge used his power to get him off TV? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Edge doesn't come off as that type. Um, I just I don't think so. And it happened really, really early into Edge's stint, which I don't even think he would have really the power to do that in AEW and WWE for sure. But AEW is like you just came in. Even as widely respected as he is, if he did have the power to do that over over here in AEW, then that says more things wrong about the company than Adam Copeland himself. If just him himself could get somebody removed when I don't even think he had two months with the company at the time, if I'm being honest. He, it was so. very fresh. It happened a couple months ago already. So very interesting. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. We see CM Punk came in and told them, fire Colt Cabana. Uh, he says he didn't say it, but apparently there were some documents that came out that proved AEW had to pull some stuff back because that did, in fact, happen. Yeah. So I think Tony Khan, when these big guys come in, if they tell him to do something, I think he's going to do it. So I don't but but I will say in this situation, I don't think that's the case, because I believe after this segment, Ricky Stark still went on to win the uh, tag team championship with Big Bill. So he was still on TV after this. Now, I think the problem is. They're looking at Ricky Starks as a traitor. I don't know. This is just me from the outside looking in. We see Ricky Starks a lot at WWE events. He's out there with Cody Rhodes. I think recently he was just in an interview defending CM Punk saying, I got no problem with him. He never did anything wrong to me. So it's just other people who he has a problem with. But I don't see nothing wrong with the guy. Uh, there was something else he defended as well. Well, he was saying, I'm not with all of that tribalism. I'm going to go to the WWE shows and stuff. We know he's a Cody Rhodes guy. And I think Co uh, Tony Khan pretty much is writing him off saying, you know what? When this guy's contract is up, he's out of here. So I think Tony Khan is going to do everything he can to not give him any more star power until he leaves. Do you think this has anything to do with them taking Ricky Starks off TV or am I a crazy man? No, I think this is exactly what it is. I mean, this is a picture of Ricky Starks at WrestleMania. Obviously, you have a bunch of AEW stars that do go because they are friends in the industry at the end of the day. Yeah. But uh, Ricky Starks has been very open to a lot of opinions that may contradict a lot of people's in AEWs. I mean, the whole Punk interview, you can like tell he was giving the guy a lot of credit. He even said that one time that I got all the pyro. Fun fact, I was there, by the way. It, it was all CM Punk's, CM Punk's idea. Mm -hmm. So it just says a lot about the guy and where he stands, which at the end of the day, I respect somebody who's open and not uh, just uh, kind of just clouded by the uh, by the company's opinion. Just because you employ yeah. and think something doesn't mean that you have to say the same thing. So respect right. to him. You know what I'm saying? He can feel how he feels. But um, if I had to guess as well, man, I think that AEW is just trying to get him uh, out of there as soon as possible. And remember, man, I, out of sight, for Ricky Starks is, is just is better for AEW because once it, Ricky Starks pops up somewhere else, it'll it'll it, it won't be the same pop from him being on AEW two weeks ago and then being on WWE yeah. two weeks later. Right, that's true. And I don't know how much longer he has on his contract, but if it's like a short amount of time, even one or two months, then I agree with Tony Khan. I say you pull him off TV because that does make it look a lot. It, it kind of softens the blow. Like, he's walking out on WWE two months after you've seen him on AEW. I mean, just like Jade Cargill, she didn't appear right on WWE, did she? Uh, I know she started popping up in those backstage segments, but was it a month or? It took I think she actually it took did. Wow, man. It took oh, it did? a while, yeah. Like, they yeah. treated her very well. Like, she had the they red did. carpet damn near open for her on camera. Like, it was really good, but she wasn't uh, introduced to the crowd for a minute. 
Yeah. But uh, speaking of Ricky Starks in AEW, if the contract is coming to an uh, in WWE, if the contract is coming to an end, how do you think he would perform over there? Hard to say. Uh, I think his ceiling would be intercontinental U.S. And, mm. I don't, and I don't think it'd be more than that. And I could even see him going to NXT for a bit as well. But uh, I don't I don't I don't think it's like world title potential. And I and I mean, based on his success in AEW, I don't think it I don't think he, I don't think he probably thinks that either. I, I mean, you can put the tag team belts on him. You can do a couple of things with him. U.S. title with him. I mean, he reminds me a little bit of, of Dolph Ziggler. Personality hey. wise, I don't know why, but just a, just a bit. I know him. And, I know Dolph Ziggler got to that world title picture, but for most of his career, he was in that mid card title scene. So that's why I see Ricky at just mid card titles for 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 his career. Bro, you gotta relax. I did not like that just now. Come on, man. Dolph Ziggler was a world champion. He should have been a WWE champion the whole time. No, no, I'm not. But I'm I know. More I know. just the it's style. how they did him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and and everything like that. But yeah, it, it's more how they did him, and and where's and what. Where this is going from now on, because it's it's definitely interesting. I I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know what they're gonna do with him at WWE. There's Lexus King, who people thought was gonna be pretty good, and I mean he still may be pretty good, but they haven't really done too much with him over at NXT. So I I don't really yeah. Know. I think he still needs a lot of work. I think what he's doing right now is a lot better than what he was doing in AEW. But um, again, he just needs the work. He needs those reps. But as far as Ricky Starks. I agree. I think he does need to go to um, NXT, and I actually see his ceiling as maybe an NXT champion, maybe a North American champion. I don't see him going to WWE and getting a U.S. or Intercontinental Championships, especially when you got guys like Gunther in there, because I just don't see it in him. And I think Ricky Starks does see himself as a world champion. He wants to be the AEW world champion, and he's thinking, if I go to WWE, it's going to be the promised land, and I will thrive. And to be honest with you, I don't think he's going to even sniff that WWE championship, not even a world champion. Because for one, I don't know how old he is, but he still doesn't have his man body. And I don't know if he's ever going to get it. He's kind of rock light, just like Adam Copeland said. Uh, and look at him. This is a guy who wants to be the rock, but he just doesn't have that frame to be the rock. And it's just not going to happen for him. And if the rock comes back when he's on the roster, it's going to hurt him even more than it hurt LA Knight being the guy who is kind of cutting rock like promos. So I think he has high hopes for WWE, but I don't know if it's going to work out for him. But what do y'all think in the comment section? Drop a like on the video. Let us know. Do y'all want Ricky Starks to stay in AEW or do y'all think he should be in WWE? Brian, do you have anything else for the people before we get up out of here? Nah, man. Make sure y'all kiss that ring and let us know down below. Let's get it.